Hey friends, my name is Stacy and this is my friend Barry. Say hi, Barry. Hi, Barry. <laughs> All right, we have an important question for you. And to answer this question, you have to put on your uh, thinking cap and picture in your mind. And I want you to think about something that you want. Think about something that you want. Maybe it's something small, just like a special little treat, you know, maybe dessert or something. Maybe it's something big, like a really cool toy. Uh, maybe it's something you want to learn. I want to learn to play the piano or I want to learn to cook. Uh, maybe it's a feeling. I want to have more happiness or more kindness in my life. Um, all kinds of different things that you can want. Maybe, maybe it's something really big, something for your family, like a vacation. I don't know. There's just think there's so many options. So think about something that you want and then think about how you might get it. Barry, do you have ideas about how we might get what we want? Well, you could ask someone for it. You could um, save for it if it's something that you want to buy. Uh, uh, you could plan for it. So uh, there are ways to get it. But um, a lot of times we have to, if there's something we want to buy, we have to save for it. Or when we're little people, sometimes we have to ask our parents for it. Those are good ideas. And I have another one about how you can get what you want, and it is called a vision board, or sometimes people call vision boards dream boards. So a vision board or a dream board is a board where you put uh, pictures and words and ideas about the things that you want, right? It, it's a way to show the things that you're interested in, the things that you want to get. Um, I actually have some to show you here. So. All right, so you can see in this one, right? She's got her red board here. Music is clearly something important to her. I like this one too. She's talking about gymnastics and you know she likes cats. Those Maybe those are things she already does or maybe those are things that she wants. This one, somebody wants uh, money and they're really specific about what they're gonna try and get their money for. And then this one, I love this one too. I think they might have a sports school, like maybe there's a sport they're involved in when they're talking about winning and championships. Um, I don't know, but just a few examples of what a vision board might look like. Um, so, okay. The idea of a vision board, but why would we actually want to use a vision board, Barry? Well, a vision board kind of brings what you want into your mind because you're looking at it and you can see it. And we have a tendency to go towards the things that we can see and the things that we focus on. So if, uh, you know, if I want to be good at a sport by me having pictures of people who are good at sports and pictures of those sports, they kind of bring it into my mind, bring it into my focus. And also there's a thing called the law of attraction, which is the idea that we tend to attract the things that we most want. And we, we see those things in the world and because we see them and because we're attracted to them, they are also attracted to us. So I think that's why a vision board is important because it makes it uh, visual in our lives and brings it more into our focus. So here is a fun fact. There are actually a lot of very famous people. Maybe uh, they're, you know, they're famous for what they do, um, or there are people that are very rich. Um, they might be athletes who are really, really good at their sport, professional athletes. There are a lot of people like that. And one of their secret weapons, one of their secret things that they use to get what they want, to be really good at what they do, or to have the things that they have, is by using a vision board. So this idea is used by a lot of people in a lot of ways, and it's actually not very complicated. You don't need very many things to make a vision board. Barry, what do you need to make a vision board? Well, you kind of need something flat, something big and flat. Sometimes at school, we call them poster boards. So kind of like a stiff piece of paper that you could lie down. And then, then you want uh, like magazines, different magazines that you can cut pictures out of. So you need some scissors and you need some glue, maybe some stickers, some pens and some markers so that you can write on your vision board. I think that's all the stuff that you need. All right. 
And I think once you have your stuff, you know, to make your vision board, what you need is a plan. So when you plan your vision board, you're just going to think of the things that you want. So maybe you only want one thing. We saw that vision board where uh, that person was very focused on a certain amount of money, right? They had ideas how they were going to spend their money, but their vision board was about one particular thing. I'm going to get this much money, but maybe you want a few different things, right? Maybe you have four or five different areas that you want something. So make a plan, decide what it is you want, divide your board up into however many areas you need for what you want, gather the pictures and the words that are going to be what you want. And I like to use affirmative words. So instead of saying, I wish I could go to Disneyland, you can say, I am having fun at Disneyland. Are you already at Disneyland? No, but you can say it like that. I am having fun at Disneyland. And that is a way that you can activate your vision board. Some other people decide they just want to put things on their board that make them happy. And that's totally cool too, because putting things that make you happy on your vision board is only going to attract more things that make you happy into your life. So there is no wrong way to do it. Uh, but those are a couple of ideas of what you could do. I actually have one here that I made. All right. So that my board is kind of big. You can see that. And I did a section about what I am, right? I am all of these different things. I did a section about things that I have. And you know what? I don't actually have these things yet, but they're the things I want. And I'm saying that I already have them because I'm trying to be affirmative, right? So I have adventures and I have a way to be helpful to other people. Those are two of the things that I have. I have a section of stuff that makes me happy. And I have a section about things I want to do. Like I want to learn to cook and I have a goal about saving some money. So that is how I divided up my board. But again, you can decide how to make your own board. There's no wrong way to do it. Okay, uh, so now I have my board made, but Barry, how fast is this going to work for me? That's a good question. Everybody wants things to be uh, happening really fast, but we don't know how long it's going to take. It might happen quickly. It might take a while. But I think the thing that's important for us is to uh, keep our focus there, keep our attention there, and put our vision board in a place where we can see it and look at it often. And, you know, you talk about being affirmative and what that means is saying yes. And you're looking at that vision board and saying, yes, this is happening. This is happening. I know this is happening in the perfect time. So uh, that's how long it takes. The perfect <laughs> amount of time. All right. So here's another cool thing about vision boards. You can make your own. You can have a lot of stuff on one. You can have different vision boards for different things. You can also make a vision board as a family. I know a lot of families that in the beginning of the year, they decided to make a vision board together about the things they want for that year. And then they hang it where everybody can see it. So uh, you can decide, do I wanna try this on my own? Do I wanna maybe do this with other people? Both are good options. Okay, we have an affirmation for each day. And our affirmation is, I dream it, I see it, and it is done. I dream it, I see it, and it is done. All right, friends, always good to see you. And we're gonna be back with you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.